Welcome back. It's 815. Marie Markham is nine years old and was playing a major league licensed throwing game at a Chuck E. Cheese. After a throw, the game said, there's always softball. Well, with that, Marie wrote a letter to the manufacturer of the game and to Major League Baseball. And that, that's when the rest took over and changes have been made. Marie, her mom Lisa, and Tony are here from the Chicago Bandits. Yes. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Sticking so, it to the man. That's <laughs> right, Marie. So you play softball, and you heard this, and you're like, well, what's, why are they acting like softball is terrible, right? Yeah. So how did you decide to write this letter, Marie? Well, my mom used to be an English teacher, and she told me to write a letter because it made me really upset, and it made me want to like change it and make it better. Yeah. And so, what happened? Did they change the game? Mm -hmm. They did. So they don't. It, was it just something that was announced? Yeah, Lisa? it was a little taunt in the game. It was ah. just kind of like, a, well, there's always softball, and it was just kind of one of the rolling sound bites in the game. And so. what did the folks at Major League Baseball say to you? Did you hear back from them? They said they weren't supporting the game anymore, so they're not like a part of it. Oh, how about that, right? We were just talking about how I mean, when we flipping through the channels, we come across the girls' softball. It's very entertaining. It's great to it's, watch. It's a, great game. You know, it's, it's so of course similar to baseball, but there are some right. differences. Mm -hmm. So well, it's gaining popularity, like like anything and ESPN shows the College World Series the women's College World Series and the last couple of years it's out it's had more viewership than the men's College World Series so wow. Tony you're with the Chicago Bandits yes. and you heard about this story mm -hmm. and tell us what happened so when I heard about it I contacted our people and I said please find Marie let's try to <laughs> find her and, and get her out to a game and when we found her we realized she was from our area and we're like well this is better yet so we contacted Lisa and set up surprising her at her practice on Saturday so just we, this past Saturday. Just this past Saturday. Oh. So we came out and surprised her team and surprised her and brought them T-shirts and, and it was a really it was a fun afternoon. And the women can pitch pretty hard. Wow. <laughs> Are you a pitcher, Marie? No. no. I mean that's I don't even know how they. It, it's fast. Really, it's fast. It's amazing. So, do you have any brothers or no. friend? No, you don't. So you don't. You're like you. Do you play ball with any of the boys in your neighborhood? And and they're impressed with what you can do. I bet, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. They're like yeah. So, mom, we there are lots of things that happen in our daily lives that <laughs> annoy us, and we don't all take the time to complain about it. it seems more right. people are doing that these days. Why did you feel? Did, did, was this your idea? Like we we got to get to the bottom of this. I mean. I always encourage her to kind of speak up if something bothers her, mm -hmm. whether it's at school or if we're out at a store. And I've been kind of telling her, it's kind of a, kind of a running thing. I'm like, well, write a letter. Tell somebody if you're upset. Mm -hmm. And this was just the first thing that she kind of took charge with. And, you know, I'm always telling our, my students, I work at a school, to speak up and, mm -hmm. you know, stand up for yourself. And it was cool to see her actually take the initiative and do it. That's, That's great, great, honey. We're proud of you. Good Thank luck you. to you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, and thanks for coming in, okay? Thanks nice. for coming in. Nice Thank to you. meet Thank you all. Thanks, thanks you. for being here. And for more on the bandits, you can go to chicagobandits.com.